right there. This is a beautiful sight, isn't it? I mean, it doesn't get any better. Almost 40 degrees today. Pitching plastics for spring walleyes. There she goes. It doesn't get any better than that. Beautiful day in February. Catching big chunky walleyes on the river dragging plastics. Good as it gets, man. I don't know how you could be having a better day. Like I said, not fast and furious action. But Good morning. What is going on, YouTube viewers? We are back with another video this morning. And uh, where are we today, you might ask? Today we are down. Why is our camera at like a lopsided, bizarre angle? Huh. Anyways, we are back with what's hopefully going to be another video. We're down here, Mississippi River. Been down here for a couple days now. I think you guys probably watched the last video I filmed, which was actually last night. Yesterday was a treacherous, rainy, snowy, cold, blowing, windy type of day. Today, exact opposite. It's cold this morning. We got down to like 16 last night, so everything in the boat is frozen like a rock. And that's one of the many problems you run into when you're staying in hotels every night. But hey, that's the fishing YouTube lifestyle, right? So we're back yesterday i was out and absolutely annihilated fish yesterday afternoon on that bait right there the kalen's tickle shad in kind of that uh, lifelike color so we're hoping that today we can go replicate now one thing in those about rivers is as conditions change as you know day-to-day -day changes these fish can move a lot and their preference can change a lot as far as what they're going to want to eat so it could be a totally different day to day but if we can go back and catch some of those fish we were catching yesterday pitching some swim baits maybe we'll mix in a blade bait maybe we'll drag into the current real slow if we have to if things get a little bit dicier but that's kind of the plan for right now is to hopefully just come out here and catch a whole bunch of fish today it's going to be absolutely gorgeous today low wind 35 degrees by the late afternoon right now it's about 18 degrees and uh, a little crispy a little crispy so stay tuned we're gonna make a nice little run and uh hopefully catch the fish and hopefully today we're gonna stay away from most of the people we don't have to go up by like a dam location or anything like that but we'll see what happens stay tuned i'm excited let's see what happens I'm glad I don't have to run like 10 miles today because that was a little crisp on the face. There's like a calculator that you, sh you should need where 15 degrees on the ice and sunny is like, oh, that's pretty nice out. You should subtract about like 20 from that and that's about how it normally feels in a boat. So we're fishing at about, I believe, negative five today would be our, our open water conversion temperature, but it's gonna warm up today. It's gonna end up being, like I said, close to 40 degrees. So that's kind of the deal. And hopefully these fish are still set up on these little, these little kind of shelves in here, but soon we will see. Right there. That's feeling good. That's feeling real good right there. You know, I was kind of wondering today if they're gonna bite the same with just bright sun. But, you know, so far, I guess I did just fish through what I thought looked all right on the graph and didn't get as many bites. But I guess I did like lose a couple or miss a couple. Or I should say the fish missed my bait on the first spot. This is gonna be a really nice fish. This is gonna be probably a pretty girthy one, I would imagine. <laughs> Dude, I absolutely love it. Ice built up on the guides. Everything's frozen. Oh, he's not super big. He is a really nice quality one, though. I mean, dude, our quality is on point. I just, you know, anytime you're fishing Mississippi in the spring, you're like, come on, 13-pounder. Let's go. But, I mean, if you're averaging 22, 23-inch fish, nobody's complaining about those. I can guarantee you that. Let's get our frozen net peeled off the boat. There we go, man. And I'm excited. If we can keep this up into the afternoon hours, when it's gonna be 38 degrees out, I'm gonna be a happy guy. No doubt about that. And dude, look how that one ate it. <laughs> That's how you know they want it right there. I'll link the bait down below for anybody interested. 
there we go look at that just crushed it man i don't know how you have any better of a warning than that right there wow dude it's just it's a dream day see you later buddy Right there, man. Trains going by. I don't know. I don't know how it could get any more river-esque out here. Gonna be a nice fish. I absolutely throttled it. One big tip, which I did mention yesterday, is always have a couple different weights of jigs with you, ready to rock and roll. Because if you get in one area, you know, as you kind of move the boat around, because that current seems a little bit less in one spot. Grab that rod with the lighter jig just right off the bat because that hang time and maximizing it is everything this time of year, man. It's going to be a nice walleye right here. Going to be a super nice fish. We're still kind of all by our lonesome down here. Go ahead and grab this guy real quick here. Flip him on in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. Let it go, buddy. Let it go. There we go. Nice little guy right there, man. I mean, they're all just really nice, pudgy, spring Mississippi River walleyes. There's no complaints, man. There's no complaints. And believe it or not, I think my dad might even come out and join me today at some point for just a little bit. I will say this. They don't seem quite as charged up as they might have been yesterday in kind of that overcast. But, you know, yesterday by the time I, I started fishing, when it quit raining a little bit, it was already, you know, four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> so naturally they generally always bite better that time of day, but you know, we're picking away at them for sure. It's not like we've been fishing for a really long time. And obviously we're getting some nice fish. Are we rolling? All right, we got audio. Well, just did a little move. Took a screenshot with some fish on it. Spot locked and uh, first cast, about two pitches in, I got another one. Decent fish for sure. I'm gonna scoop them up here. Look at that, that one actually trapped it on the bottom. Kinda had to play catch up to them. And you can tell a lot of times, you know, you're gonna see your best bites when you got clear water early in the year like this. Decent one. Yeah, clear water early in the year that a lot of your bites will come, those fish will almost trap at the bottom at like less than ideal times of the day, which is what we're in right now, where a lot of times if you're fishing in kind of that primo sun up or sundown hour, you'll get more of those fish to really pop it hard. And you can see that one's just trapped to bottom like that. We'll let them go, it's a pretty solid fish. Yeah, a nice one, about 18 incher. I'll let him go and do it again. Of course, caught the one fish when the boat drives by, though. <laughs> I feel like that's how it goes normally. And a lot of times with this less than ideal day, it's fishing just as small and light as you can. So I've kind of been interchanging the 3.8 inch and the 2.8 inch, and then just going really light on the jig head. And a lot of times it seems to make a difference when it's a little bit tougher once that sun's up high. All right guys, so Cadence, now we're fishing this super simple. Obviously we're fishing, I've been fishing this bait two days now and have not taken it off. There's two different sizes that I've been fishing. This is a 2.8 and then there's a bigger 3.8. If it seems like fish are really thumping baits hard, I'll fish that 3.8. If I want to downsize a little bit, that 2.8 is a great one. And that color is called Lifelike. I think I showed it yesterday. It's one of their new colors that came out in the Tickle Shad series. And it looks just like that right there. And uh, I know the retailers have a bunch now, so and, and a lot of that new open water stuff should be kind of hitting the shelves. But cadence, super important. You guys keep hearing me talk about jig weight and stuff like that. Generally, when you're fishing the, these kind of plastics like this for these fish that are really slow moving, water's still really cold, relatively inactive, pitching some variation of downstream and then pulling the bait back into the current. So once I cast out and hit bottom, basically I'm taking the rod and just popping it, you know, six inches like that. 
and wait until it hits bottom again. After you pop it, that jig and that swim bait just kind of, they're hanging up in the current. And that's most time when you get your bites. And it should take three, four, five seconds a lot of times for that bait to hit bottom, especially for these kind of real neutral, negative kind of inactive fish this time of day. Pop it forward. Right now it's just sitting in the current. All right, there's bottom. Sometimes you can kind of feel it. Other times you're just watching your rod tip and you'll see the rod tip will be very bowed. And then the second it hits bottom, it'll, the rod tip will kind of that, release that pressure. And it's really super slow and painstakingly slow to fish this way if you're used to fishing a lot faster. But it's definitely the difference between catching fish or getting bites or not getting any bites. And a lot of times, even if I'm fishing a three ace like this and I get into an area where I'm just pulling that jig forward, it's hanging up there and then boom, right down to bottom right away, I'll put the quarter on, go to something lighter so it has more hang time. And on your sweep, there's some days where it seems like they'll want something like this, just kind of this long, slow pull forward. Other days, it generally seems like when fish are really negative, one thing you can do is just kind of give it this quick twitch. And it's just kind of springy enough that it kind of gets fish to react a little bit. So let it sit on the bottom, quick twitch. Now that bait's just hanging, fluttering the current. There's the bottom again. Give it that quick pop. And a lot of times that's, it seems to get those fish to react a little bit more when they're real negative and neutral in these cold water time frames. Right as I was saying it. <laughs> so I'm just wondering if it was going to be a little bit slower during the middle of the day. And it is. Feels like a good one. That one absolutely lit it up. Definitely. In the current, they're all fun. But uh, that one just pulling it right back into the current. And that one popped it real good. Nice fish. I mean, it doesn't get any better. Almost 40 degrees today. Pitching plastics for spring walleyes. Good as it gets, man. And I've literally had the same plastic on the whole time. Look at that. <laughs> It's a beautiful sight, isn't it? Yeah, that is a chunker, man. Yeah. He's real fat. I'll scoop him up quick, and he absolutely pounded that thing. Come here, bud. It's just about as slow as you can possibly move the bait, but he he clunked it. We'll give you guys a look here. Here we go. Quick thumbnail pick. We'll get him popped off. Look at that, man. He is a pudgy one. Good as it gets right there. Wow, that one absolutely lit it up. The whole key is obviously just going super slow this time of year in the current. But when you got the right plastic on, they want to bite. That little tickle shad, they will absolutely pound it like that one did. All right guys, you know one of the best things about springtime period is you can pretty much take the same rod and reel setup and go anywhere and catch fish on it. We're, I'm fishing with the uh, 2B Genesis series spinning rods. My dad's fish with the Elliott series. You guys have probably seen me going back and forth over the last couple videos now. But basically all you need, a 610, a 69, something like that. Medium, light action, jig stick, fast action. Pretty simple setup really. So I have the 610 2B Fishing Genesis Series spinning rod, which I'll go ahead and link down below. That's a 610, medium, light, fast. And uh, my dad's got the 69, medium, light, fast, and the Elliott. So two different rods, two different blanks. Elliot's a little bit more kind of, you know, super high end feel to it. The 2B Fishing Genesis, phenomenal rod at a phenomenal price point. So that's kind of the difference between the two rods. Both rods great, both rods catch a ton of fish, obviously. And uh, basically you just need one good jig stick and you can go fish a blade bait, a jig and a plastic, a jig and a minnow, anywhere you're gonna go this time of year. Rigging up wise, I'm fishing Suffix. I think it's called 131 braid or something like that. And it's been awesome in the spring because it doesn't pick up any water. So this morning when stuff was freezing, that line stays super dry which is nice with that, like it's got like a Gore-Tex filament in it or something like that. Tying that straight into a suffix leader material. Generally a 10 pound or if you're fishing some really snaggy stuff, I'll even go up to a 14 pound and this is just the suffix advanced 100% fluorocarbon right there. Tie that in with the uni knot. You only need it about a foot, two feet long out here in the river because you're generally fishing a little bit dirtier water. That's about as simple as it goes and you can go any river system anywhere right now in the Midwest that has open water and catch fish on that setup.
He missed me, I think. As I was sitting down jigging, I thought one popped it, but I just didn't like, get anything on the hook set. And of course, I made about two more pops with it, and this guy did. Feeling it, feeling heavy. Nicer fish. Feeling real heavy in the current. This is far and away the heaviest feeling one. We'll see. Yeah, it's feeling big. Is it even a walleye? It's gotta be, right? Popped it. Is this our big fish or is it just hook goofy? It's a pretty nice one. <laughs> oh man, it doesn't get any better than that. Beautiful day in February. Catching big chunky walleyes on the river dragging plastics. Right there. I don't know if it gets any better than that. That's a, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Man, dude, just <laughs> built too, huh? Yeah, another stocky fish. Yeah, not fast and furious, but when you're catching fish like this, and when it's this nice out in February, I mean, there's no complaints. That bait right there, you know, we had a guy come up to us and he's like, it just doesn't seem like they're biting anything. And maybe it's just dumb luck that I lucked into fishing that presentation yesterday, but they are about it. And even if you're catching them when the water's this cold, middle of the day dragging plastics like that, they are definitely on that bait. Look at that guy. Good as it gets, man. I don't know how you could be having a better day. Like I said, not fast and furious action, but these are some butter balls, man. Let's let that guy go. Back into the current he goes. Let him let her do her thing up at the at the dam in a few weeks. There she goes. Back down. <laughs> it's a good feeling. It's a good sight. That is gonna do it. We're back in the truck. That is gonna do it for today's video. And uh, another fun day, fun little morning in the kind of midday period on the river. And uh, caught some really nice fish. Cannot complain with quality like that um, in February, in the month of February, right? Dragon plastics. Game plan was really super simple. Um, they're just, those fish were all over that, uh, those tickle shads, 2.8s and 3.8s either quarter or three eighth ounce jigs and uh pulling it back into the current and right before we headed out shot a super nice piece kind of talking about the structures we're fishing just a really nice in-depth breakdown for anybody who's going to go do a bite like that on a river system how you can set yourself up what those fish look like on side imaging kind of structures they're relating to how you want to position your boat all that kind of good stuff to ultimately make you guys more successful on the water and that's all found on the walleye now app like i said so make sure you guys check that out. We got a lot of exciting stuff coming your guys' way on the walleye now front. We're kind of waiting to get into the season here a little bit. And then uh, a lot of cool stuff coming your guys' way on that front. But I uh, appreciate you guys watching this one. It was good getting out in the afternoon with my dad for a little bit and uh, catch some nice fish. And uh, now I don't know exactly where we're going to be next. Is winter done? Is it still going to go on? Is spring here? Is winter coming back? I don't know. And uh, But you can be assured that soon we'll be back in the truck driving around catch some more walleye so appreciate you guys watching these spring videos um stay tuned for more content we are just getting started this season